Hello and welcome to our short video looking at providing probate services and the marketing of those services. My name is Jane Mather, I'm Divisional Director of Northern Region for SWAT UK but I also head up the probate offering within uh, SWAT UK. With me today is Vicky uh, Banthorpe who was until 2015 our Marketing Director. Vicky's a, a Marketing Specialist and now runs her own consultancy firm Momentum and she works with us very closely in providing marketing support for those of you that do uh, provide probate. So, uh, Vicky, hello. Thank you welcome. for having me here today. You're welcome. Um, t about 269 firms are now accredited to carry out probate work, which is, which is very good. Um, our survey that we ran last year with firms that were either already doing probate or thinking about doing probate indicated that some firms were better than others mm. at um, well in terms of uh, sales and exposure in probate can you sort of tell me what you think differentiates those firms that are doing well and those mm. firms who are perhaps you know on very much a slow boil yeah certainly in, in my experience of working with firms from sole practitioners through to um, multi-partner firms and multi-office firms and um, the one thing that sets them apart not just with probate but actually just the marketing general is actually that they do it you know they're proactive in their marketing communications to let people know that mm -hmm. you know they are actually got this service now and they're doing something about it um, and I'm always amazed when interesting you're saying there's 269 accredited firms mm. so far um, I'm always amazed that you know the amount of time and effort it, it takes firms to actually become accredited in the first place um, as well as actually the cost of it I think we were Which saying isn't earlier, insignificant is it no we were saying earlier it's probably upwards of two thousand pounds for, for the small, very small end yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and whilst I was at SWAT I invigilated on some of the probate exams and <laughs> I've seen the fear and the terror that you've all gone <laughs> through in actually you know providing and learning for these exams so the fact that you've put yourselves through that you've, you've had quite a lot of you know cost outlay um, to then not do anything about it to try and recoup some of your costs I think you know it's, it's quite amazing really so I think there's certainly much more that can be done um, to make it a much more successful service um, mm. for firms definitely. So um, that said who should a firm be communicating to? Well, my experience would be the most obvious is obviously your existing clients. Um, they are you know, already using your services, they know and trust you. So anything you can do to, to tell them through a mailing or an email, actually just having meetings with them or the next time you have a face-to-face -face with them, make them aware that you know, you've now got the probate mm. service. Um, you're also then looking at your prospective clients, you know, people that you're, you're already commu communicating to, to try and win business elsewhere in the practice. Um, but actually just make them aware that, that you've got probate. Um, some of the more successful firms out there have developed really good sort of strategic alliances with the likes of IFAs uh, and actually other solicitors or some solicitors, uh, particularly those solicitors that are doing just the contentious work, um, they're quite happy to refer work to accountants because they feel less threatened by doing that level of work with accountants. Yeah, they? I mean, in our survey in 2015, one of the main concerns for firms was, you know, they didn't want to upset local solicitors by effectively stealing probate mm. work. Mm. Uh, but in fact, experience has borne out that actually making solicitors aware of the fact that we offer the probate service, a lot of them don't have staff trained in probate. Mm. Mm. So they're actually outsourcing, maybe not all of it, but a lot more of the work to accountants, yeah. which is an interesting yeah. adjunct there. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Um, and I think that's also an important point to raise in terms of who the accountants should let know. It's actually your staff. Um, quite often I see, you know, that might be a particular partner that's gone out and become accredited mm. and they're, they're the key person. And they might tell the sort of the direct members of staff around them, but they haven't told the whole practice. Um, now your staff need to know for two reasons. Firstly, so that they can actually identify any opportunities with existing clients when they're, they're doing their mm. work. Um, but actually they've got friends and family that at some point will also require the needs of a probate. So, you know, you've got a homegrown sort of market, mm, if you like, indeed, right yeah. under your nose. So, so don't overlook that and, and telling your staff about the service, what it is exactly that you do, why it's different to what solicitors do, is all part of their just training on, on, on the, you know, the overall service of what you provide, certainly. So. And I think, well, one big thing that, that's coming out both from SWAT UK and from ICAW with their work in this area is make the public know, mm, absolutely. you know, let the world at large know that accountants can now do this service. Mm, yeah. Because it's amazing the number of 
you know, people out there that have no clue mm. that accountants can actually now do this work. Yeah. 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 No, I I would agree. You know, you've got a you've got a role there um, to let people know that there are other options other than solicitors and banks. And actually in most cases much, and much cheaper options. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And probably a much quicker option as well yeah. because they're not having to, you know, spend time getting all the facts and figures together, which more often than not you've got to your fingertips. And people that they already know and trust. Yeah. So that's so uh, what can SWAT UK do to assist firms? Okay, um, well as, as Jane said, um, I'm currently doing uh, various bits of marketing work with SWAT, including some lecturing. Uh, we've got a, a probate uh, marketing and selling webinar which is running on the 21st of February. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is going to be sort of helpful for anybody who's already signed up and accredited um, to provide probate, but also for any firms that are actually just thinking, oh, I'm not sure you know, whether to do this or not. So certainly you know, speak to the courses team here, mm. get booked on that course. It's a lunchtime course and it runs for just an hour and a half, so I'm not going to be bombarding you too much with, with marketing. Um, but it's a good insight in terms of just some ideas that you'll pick up in terms of what you could do to help promote probate in your practice. We've also uh, got a SWOT probate manual and within mm. that manual there is a marketing section isn't there Vicky? Yeah certainly we've, we've uh, added on to the technical aspects of the mar- of the manual um, which give you lots of specimen documentation. We've included a marketing section which gives you some ideas and tips um, but there's also some specimen documentation where you can actually download that and just start using it straight away. So the type of thing that you've got are are letters that you could send to clients, uh, letters that you could send to prospective clients. Um, we've written articles that you can actually post onto your website and or apps if you've actually got apps that you're using now. Um, we've also created a, a guide to, prob- uh, to probate because a lot of what you're trying to do is actually educate your clients in terms of what, what needs to happen in that particular um, sort of situation that they've found themselves in. Mm. And there's also a glossary of terms because I think as part of the education, um, you know, most people never have to go sort out probate um, in their lives. So if they do come across it, it's a very alien concept and, and can seem um, quite a sort of hurdle to jargon. Yeah. That, yeah. So and again, that's where accountants can can just score you know many points over solicitors because you know you're you're normal people. You won't <laughs> just um, you know wax lyrical about the latest sort of legislation. You'll actually sort of you know tell it to them in sort of a word they understand. So so all that documentation is available through the probate manual, which you can download off the SWAT UK website. Mm. Um, you know, so to make use of it, so you can just literally pick it up and run um, and, and start your communications. You know, straight away yeah brilliant so So, thank you uh, for your attention I would like just to point out that we are running our probate survey again this year and the uh, the survey is up on our website the slide following the end of our session now Mm -hmm. will contain details of the course that's running on the 21st of February also details about the manual and the survey and obviously links so that you can uh, pick those up if you're interested and hopefully we will see you soon Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.